In 1990, three young kids came together in Los Angeles, California to pursue their dreams of rock and roll stardom. They didn't come together on their own though. Chris Stokes, you'll want to remember that name for later. An enterprising young songwriter and producer from LA had started auditioning local youngsters for a singing group he'd envisioned. He wanted a group that would combine the hip hop harmony of boys to men with the innocence of the early new edition. That R&B boy band named Immature, consisting of Marcus Batman Houston, Jerome Romeo Jones, and Don Halfpipe Santos, would burst onto the music scene two years later with their debut album before any of the members had even reached their teens. In a 1995 interview with the Washington Post, Marcus explained the true meaning behind the group's name. When we say we're immature, we don't mean we're bad kids. We just mean we're young and like to have fun. If you compare us to Jodeci, we don't sing about bumping and grinding and all that nasty stuff. We sing about thinking about a girl and giving her gifts and missing her, like a young person would. Fun fact, R&B singer Ty Dolla Sign's first ever gig was playing keyboards for Immature. Brandy and her younger brother Ray J were also in the mix as backup singers. Many years later, it would also be revealed that Brandy played a major role in the incident that caused Romeo to start wearing a patch over his right eye. Fans speculated for years that Romeo had an eye condition, but he revealed in a 2019 radio interview with Nick Cannon that it was, in fact, Brandy that blinded him with the sharp corner of a book. The incident allegedly happened during an argument she was having with Half Pint. She had the book in her hand and tossed it behind herself, not thinking anyone was standing that close. It cut Romeo's retina, detached it, and the lens fell out. Immature's album titled On Our Worst Behavior featured the singles Da Munchies, I Wanna Know You That Way, and Tear It Up On Our Worst Behavior, which also appears on the soundtrack for the animated film Baby's Kids, in which Marcus provided his voice for the character Khalil. The project flopped, so they knew they had to go back to the drawing board to make some significant improvements. Their follow-up album came two years later, and by then the group had undergone several major changes. A new label, a new look, a new sound, and a new lineup. Half Pine ended up getting pulled from the group by his parents, who wanted him to focus on his education rather than spend all his time in recording studios and performing on stage. The opening his exit left was quickly filled in-house with the group's drummer, Kelton LDB Kessie. LDB fittingly standing for Little Drummer Boy. The trio's second album, Playtime Is Over, dropped in August 1994 after signing a deal with MCA Records. Several singles were released, including their biggest hit to date, Never Lie. It rose to number five on the Billboard Hot 100 and went gold. Over the next seven years, Immature released another four albums. However, beginning in 1999, they would undergo a name change to IMX, as they felt the name Immature no longer reflected them. Then, in 2002, the group decided to disband. Marcus and Romeo, now going by the name Young Rome, began pursuing solo careers while LDB continued his work as a producer. Marcus became the first of the bunch to release a solo album in 2003. Romeo followed suit with the release of his debut solo project the next year. Over the next decade, Marcus released five additional albums and also enjoyed a successful acting career, starring in several films, including You Got Served, alongside his immature groupmate, Romeo. He also made a significant mark on the small screen on the popular sitcom, Sister Sister, starring twins Tia and Tamara Mori, playing their annoying neighbor, Roger Evans. Go home, Roger! Now, remember earlier when Immature's manager, Chris Stokes, was referenced as being responsible for bringing the boys together in the first place? Well, years later, he, along with Marcus, would be accused of also being responsible for committing a heinous crime against a member of another boy band. In 2007, Demario Thornton, better known as Raz B, and former member of fellow R&B boy band B2K, released a YouTube video detailing alleged sexual abuse committed against him and his older brother by Marcus and Chris, who also happens to be his cousin. Chris released a statement denying all allegations. Days later, Raz B retracted his statements, but over the years, he would periodically continue to speak about his experience, including the release of another series of videos in 2010. 
That time around, Marcus took out a restraining order against Rasby, citing emotional distress. As of the making of this video, neither Chris Stokes nor Marcus Houston have been charged or convicted of any crimes. In early 2015, Immature decided to reunite and release a comeback EP album titled Remember. They also went back to the group name that made them famous. The album features more mature sounding remakes of their classic hits along with six newly released songs. The trio went radio silent again until several years later in 2019 when it was announced that Immature would be one of several acts including Ray J, Day 26, B5, and Jay Holiday for the TV tour aka The Reunion. So after all these years, what's Half Pint been up to? Well, finding the current whereabouts of the original Immature member has proven to be a difficult task. The only information that does pop up is his wedding that took place quite a few years ago. His old groupmates did attend, but other than that, there doesn't appear to be any more details about his life after leaving the group. 38-year-old Marcus caused a major stir on social media in June 2020 when it was revealed that he was set to marry his 19-year-old girlfriend, Maya Dickey. Apparently, people weren't feeling their major age gap. So much so, he felt the need to defend his bride-to-be in a lengthy Instagram post. He reiterated that they did meet in 2018 when she was underage, but claimed that they waited until she became an adult before they started dating. All the people closest to him love her, and most important of all, they have Jehovah's blessing. The couple tied the knot with his immature groupmates in attendance that August in an ultra-private ceremony at the Eagle Glen Golf Club in Corona, California. In February 2022, Marcus made his solo comeback with a surprise album drop. The new project, titled Me, features 14 tracks, including the single Forever's Not Long Enough, a love song dedicated to his wife, Maya. Currently, it appears music has taken a back seat for LDB, as it seems he's been channeling all his time and energy into being a part of a booming premium cannabis business. In fact, on his Instagram, you'd need to scroll all the way back to 2019 to find any immature or music-related content. According to his social media, Romeo, who now goes by Rome, is enjoying family life. He also just dropped on Instagram, literally a few days before this video will go live, an exciting trailer of what looks to be a documentary film type of project he plans to release this year. The caption doesn't give anything away, but while combing through the comments, it appears that some are speculating that it has to do with Rome having a falling out with his immature group members. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you won't miss any future videos. See you next time.